I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston News News. Here are your top headlines today, April 4th, 2023. The town of Greater Napanee has declared a hotly contested piece of land surplus, with an intention of selling it off. This move comes after a presentation just last month by a group who proposed the land be used as a recreational trail connected to the Cataraqui Trail. Sierra Planning and Management pointed out that a great tourism opportunity is being missed by not developing this trail through Napanee. Martha's Table is now introducing their springtime Empty Boards fundraiser to pair with their longtime fall endeavor, Empty Bowls. Those going to Empty Boards will eat charcuterie and go home with an authentic board stamped with Martha's logo. Three drivers traveling on Highway 401 over the weekend have had their vehicles impounded and licenses suspended after the OPP clocked them at more than 50 kilometers an hour over the speed limit. Three separate drivers were charged with stunt driving after being observed traveling at 157, 171, and 181 kilometers an hour. Kingston police have released the above photo and are asking for public assistance to identify the man pictured. According to police, at approximately 1.40 p.m. on Tuesday, March 7, 2023, officers were called to the east end of Kingston to respond to an assault. Police would like to confirm the identity of this suspect. The Lennox and Addington County Detachment of the OPP are crediting concerned citizens after traffic complaints called in by members of the public led to the arrest of two impaired drivers. The two drivers were arrested and charged within hours of one another. Environment Canada has issued a special weather statement warning that freezing rain is expected Tuesday evening with ice accretion of up to 5 mm possible. The National Weather Agency is advising that surfaces may become icy and slippery. A collaborative venture among three key child and youth charities in Kingston, Frontenac, Lennox and Addington launched on Friday, March 31, 2023, with a special promotional event at St. Lawrence College. Made possible thanks to a $150,000 grant from the Ontario Trillium Foundation, Mentoring Southeast will connect adult volunteers to mentoring programs that support the growth and development of youth in need. A Royal Military College of Canada graduate will be among the flight crew to fly around the moon, an important first step in NASA's long-term plan to return to the moon and eventually continue onward towards Mars. Canadian astronaut Colonel Jeremy Hansen has been chosen as one of four astronauts to fly on Artemis II, the first crewed flight test to the moon since Apollo. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingstonist.com and subscribe.